guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is primary animal health care with me your girl dr nobs thank you thank you thank you thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel and everybody who watched my first video before i get into today's video somebody asked me to tell you guys more about myself i'm not sure what you guys want to know but anyway let's just give it a try my name is mokane nobela I am Tonga by birth. I'm from Guyane, just a girl from Guyane, okay? I completed school end of 2017 at the University of Pretoria. I started working in 2018 in the Northwest province. That's when I was doing my compulsory community service. And after that, I stayed in the Northwest. So I'm still currently still working in the Northwest province. All right. I am not married, but however, I'm not available, okay? <laughs> yeah anyway that's me in a nutshell uh you guys will get to know more about me as we go along um today's video let's get into today's video then if you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos i will be posting a video once a week mostly on the weekends okay so you can look out for my next upcoming video next weekend so either on a saturday or a sunday i quite I like i haven't decided but between the two any any day between saturday and sunday i will drop a video you guys can be on the lookout for that again thank you to everybody who subscribed and if you haven't subscribed just kindly do so okay anyway let's get into today's video on today's video i'll be talking about what is primary animal health care Okay, I have defined primary animal health care to myself the following ways. All right, primary animal health care is all about early disease identification. Now, why is it important to identify early that there is a health issue on your farm or with your animals, whether it's a dog or cat, or specifically on your farm, since we're going to be talking more um, to farmers? It's just like, guys, the earlier you can identify that something is wrong, then it is more likely that we can be able to treat that disease. But if you take long to notice that something is wrong or you take long to report that something is wrong, then by the time you report, it might be too late for anybody to do anything. And that will lead to a loss. And we all know that you're not farming to make a loss. You're farming to produce. Now, if you are losing, you're not producing. And that is a problem. So any disease identification is very, very, very important. And secondly, primary and my health care is all about disease prevention i cannot emphasize this enough i love this part so much that in the upcoming weeks i will be dropping series about disease prevention so if you haven't subscribed again just subscribe or you're going to miss what i have to say okay um it's all about disease prevention we all know that prevention is better than cure like don't wait for something to be broken before you fix it okay Preventing can really, really, really save a lot of our farmers a lot of money. And it can also, also really, 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 really help our farmers make a lot of money. All right. I'll go deep into what I mean um, on the next upcoming videos where I'll be doing a series on disease prevention. Also, um, primary animal health care is about good management practices guys providing housing general care nutrition the right vaccination programs for your animal all of this and many other stuff are what can help you grow as a farmer all right um so that's primary animal health care the best way that i can try and explain it i hope that you all understand me all i can say is observation prevention management that's it that's what I can say for now. As we talk, we might find something else. I might say something else. And yeah, if I've made something today, don't worry. I will be saying it in the next upcoming videos that I will be making. So who is in charge of primary animal health care? Mostly the person who sees the animals on a day-to-day -day uh, basis. That is the best person to be in charge of primary animal health care. Who is this person? We all know in the rural communities that our parents are not full-time farmers. They still have to work. It's just how things are, right? Most of them are not full-time farmers. They still have to work. So they're like in the city and they've got animals back at home. But then they've got an animal handler. They've got a headsman. They've got a modisa. They have murisi. Okay? They have that person who's looking after their animals. So your duty as an animal owner would be to make sure that the person that you hire to look after your animals can understand 
what to do. You can explain to them or you can get somebody who knows better to explain to them what they should look out for, what they should report and, 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 and. There's a lot that I can say about this, but let me just not, not to make the video long. All I can say is that person is the one who is in charge of your day-to-day -day running of primary animal healthcare as well as day-to-day -day running of, of, of your farm. In most, in most aspects, uh, the animal handler is the only person that's there in the rural areas. So he's the farm manager. He's the animal handler. Everything like it's just it's just it's just everything because he's there alone with the animals. You are trusting this person with with everything that you have, right? So that's the person that will be in charge of primary animal health care. And yeah, so guys, I don't know what more to say. I think that's about it for today. And um, so like I said. In the next upcoming weeks, I will be dropping another videos or a series, uh, like a series of videos about disease prevention because that's my favorite part of primary animal health care because it, it is the most important part according to me. All right. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next weekend. If you haven't subscribed, just subscribe and click the notification bell so that every time I post a video, YouTube can tell you that Dr. Nobbs has uploaded a video and then you'll be able to watch immediately. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I really hope I made sense. If I didn't, just comment down below and I can kindly repeat. <laughs> Thank you.